So little did I know as I was leaving the store, the deal that I found, and it wasn't until I got home that I realized what a great deal. So that means sometime this week, I need to go back and see if I can pick up another great deal like I found. Come and see what I got. everyone welcome back I wasn't planning on doing this video but I gotta talk ham I gotta talk ham okay I gotta talk ham I gotta talk food I gotta talk sales I have to tell you my friends I want to talk to you about some great deals at least for me I think they're great deals I'm all excited so grab your coffee and we're gonna chat Oh boy, so I had another video planned and I was all excited coming home from work and um, yeah, I, I was said to my husband, you know what, I happened to look at the sale paper for the next upcoming week at our local stop and shop and you know I've been telling you I've been trying to do the sales. I've been trying to eat down our freezer and I wanted to frost, we have a small cubicle deep freeze and I wanted to frost that. And, um, anyway, one day I'll tell you the story about that, but there's a story behind it. There's always a story behind everything I do, but I wanted, Ooh, what chicken? I wanted to defrost that. So I've been trying to clean it out and I can probably at some point move it up to my refrigerator freezer. You know, I have a small one, old fashioned kind of refrigerator, not one of these fancy schmancy ones. And, um, anyway, I want to defrost the deep freeze but I couldn't pass up the buys on this food. So, got my local sale paper. Now, I know many of you know Stop and Shop is expensive, but I truly believe they have really good sales. If you're in New Jersey or you're in that the tri-state area, most of you probably have a Stop and Shop and a ShopRite. ShopRite seems to be in our area, like the place to go. I prefer Walmart over ShopRite personal preference. I don't, I haven't been into Walmart in months since before Christmas because every time I go, it seems like more stuff lands in my cart than it should. So a few times I've done Instacart to just try and get what I need. And then I've been doing stop and shop sales. So real quick, I'll tell you the sales that I got. You need me again? Yeah, yeah. You're good? Yep. So, okay, I don't even know where to start. Tuna fish. I got eight cans. I probably should have gotten 20 cans. I like the Chunk Light, whether it was Chunk Light or Albacore, 99 cents a can for Bumblebee tuna. Now, ShopRite has it on sale for 99 cents a can for Starkist. I prefer Bumblebee, that's just me. I don't know, does it, does it really matter? It's a fish from the sea, but somehow bumblebee tastes better to me and I like the chunk light. I got eight cans. I said to my husband, I should have probably gotten 20, but I'm trying to also not only replenish some things to have on hand and canned meat is always good and tuna is cheap, but I don't want to overspend by buying 20 when I'm trying to buy other things in that budgeted amount. So I might go back, I'm not sure. So let's talk tuna, 99 cents a can. If you're a family of one, do you know how many tuna sandwiches you can get out of this? A couple. How cheap is that for a lunch, right? Making tuna cakes, you can eat little tuna cakes, you can fry them up for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I made tuna casserole the other day, you saw, I talked about two different ways to make tuna casserole. One can of tuna, to feed my family of three and we had three good meals out of it and I think a little extra for lunch so let's say one can fed four people for dinner at 99 cents that's 25 cents per serving for your meat portion of the meal 25 cents okay I have to add frozen peas to that a little butter a little milk a little flour okay few more pennies and two slices of white bread if you do it my way 
and some stale potato chips that we had saved up leftover from crumbs from an another bag. We're talking pennies on the dollar for a meal for a family of three, four-ish, or family of one or two is even a better deal versus going out and getting takeout, delivery, and all the rest. I'm not against takeout. I'm not against eating out. I'm not against any of that. But if you're like me, we have just found things are tight. So we're trying to be really tight and only go out on the odd occasion or special occasions like birthdays and things like that. So that's the tuna, okay? Chicken dipping sauce, um, like Chick-fil-A chicken dipping sauce. The, uh, I wanna make sure I had the seal on it because the lid was loose. Um, we like the Chick we love Chick-fil-A. We love Chick-fil-A dipping sauce and you can make homemade and all the rest. Um, I don't always have the time to make the homemade so, okay, let's clarify that if you're new here. I work full time. I work about 50 hours a week. And my two men at home, my husband and my youngest son, both have disabilities. Without going into that and making that another video, they are limited on what they can do. I'm limited on what I can do because I'm the only dryer, driver for the two of them and for my mother who I'm also a caregiver for. So that means when I come home from work, and I have to take them any places or do anything, it's all on me. It's kind of like being a single mother and a single wife all rolled up into being a wife, a mother, a grandmother and a daughter and taking care of everyone and helping everyone. So sometimes buying something like this is a whole lot easier for me than trying to make it homemade. My goal is to go YouTube full time and to make everything homemade. We'll get there. Chicken dipping sauce used to be a dollar 38 at walmart it's now 238 this was on sale for a dollar 99 it is chicken dipping sauce it's by stop and shop brand this is a staple like other people would say mayonnaise ketchup you know things like that are staples in the house this is a staple for my son so we get it um creamer we love our sweet creamers and they're expensive they're on the upper to 450 to 650 a bottle in some places, which is insanity. These were two for five, so I got cinnamon, vanilla cream, and sweet cream. Sweet Italian cream is my favorite. But two for five. Graham and I love orange juice. I'm only off two days a week, so my two days off, one day I usually do waffles and orange juice and another day I'll do like biscuits and gravy or breakfast sandwiches and an orange juice. And that's like my treat for myself for my mornings when I'm off and I make around some eggs and you know, try and make a nice breakfast. I do prep some breakfast for during the week, but there's nothing like fresh. So we like orange juice. Now last week there were two for six and I picked up two. This week there were two for five, so I picked up two more. They're good until March 26th, 2024. We've got, you know, two months. This will last us the four bottles. We go through about a bottle every 10 days. So that'll be good. That'll, that'll take us through. The Chobani yogurt. I don't buy a lot of yogurt because we don't eat a lot of yogurt. Again, can you make it homemade? Yes, you can make it homemade. I don't have the time. So this is to me cheaper buying something like this than getting a takeout meal or something like that. So a lot of times I'll do a yogurt and bring two rice cakes with peanut butter or hummus or avocado or cream cheese. And that is what I call lunch. So for 99 cents, I got six of these and grandma enjoys this as a little snack as well. So that was a good deal. Um, what else here can I show you? Carrots, 99 cents a bag. I was getting them for 60, 64 cents and 47 cents at Aldi, but Aldi is about 20, 25 minutes from me. Haven't been there, so at 99 cents a bag, these freeze well. These last a long time. Any root vegetables will last a long time in your fridge. These are great. You can boil these up. You can chop them up for soup. I like mashed carrots the same way you would make mashed potatoes. I don't know anybody else that makes them like that other than my mother-in-law taught me to do that. So sometimes we'll mash the carrots with 
the potatoes and make mash both or add some turnip. Oh, it's so good. But you can roast these. I like putting these in the oven or the air fryer. Many things you can do with carrots. Extremely healthy, great side dish. I got potatoes. They were buy one, get one free. So I picked two of the potatoes up. I'm gonna go into a few more details. Picked up two loaves of bread. They were uh, two for six, $3 a loaf. The Sara Lee is one of the ones that we really like. I have English muffins on that side of the table. I don't feel like reaching. They were buy one, get one free, so I got that. I got two packages of chicken thighs. Again, I was trying to use up what was in my freezer, but it was $5.97 a package, 99 cents a pound. I could not resist. I got two packages of bacon for the freezer at $3.99 each, $3 off a package. They're normally $6.99, and I got them $3 off. Italian sausage. I got three packages. They were three for 10. You get six, one, two, five sausages in each. So I got 15 sausages, three for $10. I think that's a great deal. Three bucks each, three and change each. And I think that's everything except we got a story to tell, okay? Okay, people. Now I have some friends that live here in my town that watch my videos, you know who all you are. Stop and shop, you gotta go over. I'm going back this week to see if I can get more of these. Boneless spiral ham. I just saw somebody else buy it and she said it was well worth it because by the time you take the meat off the bone, you yes, you can use the bone to make broths and all, that's great, yep, that's there's a time and place for that. But other times where you just want meat, you can just get a boneless spiral ham. Well, okay. This was $41.73. What? No, I did not pay that. But it was on sale for $23.82. Now, $23 is still pricey, but here's what I figured. We're doing Christmas in February with some of my family that we weren't able to see. My one sister's coming out and my mom is going through some more stuff, so keep her in prayer. And she has to come out and help for some time. So we thought we'll do Christmas in February, and she's going to see her great nephew, my grandson, for the first time. So I thought, you know what? Special occasions call for special meats. So I thought 23, what was it, 20? 23.82, so 24 bucks. You know, this would last us for dinner. We'd have sandwiches the next day and still have some left over. What a great deal, right? Oh, oh, okay, we need to talk. We need to talk. Let me get my notebook here, or my notes. You ready for this? I was trying to figure out my receipt and I was looking at it because I wanted to see, make sure that, you know, I got the right price when I got home on the ham. I said to my husband, I gotta turn the light on brighter here because I can't see, I'm, I'm not reading this right. Something's not adding up here, okay. Let's go back for a moment. So we got the bread for three bucks each. The English muffins were buy one, get one free. We got a BOGO on that. So that came out to $2.64 each for English muffins, Thomas's brand. Now, I was gifted some sourdough starter. Yes, because none of mine turned out, zilch. But I need to get that going. I'm gonna get that going. This is Sunday, right? This is Sunday, yes. Today's Sunday, oh boy. Work too many days in a row. So I'm working tomorrow night. When I come home, I'm going to feed my sourdough starter so that the next day is my day off, I can make something with my sourdough starter. And we're gonna see how this goes, okay? Well, I'll let you know. But first thing I wanna try, which as they say is one of the easiest things, is English muffins with sourdough. So we'll be making that, but in the meantime, I can put those in the freezer. The yogurt was 99 cents. The orange juice was two for five. The creamer was two for five. Tuna was 99 cents. The dipping sauce was $1.99. The chicken was $4.57 a package. The potatoes were $2.40 a bag. We love potatoes, mashed potatoes. Grandma and I can have mashed potatoes every night with a side of broccoli and corn or corn and carrots or corn and green beans. We'd be fine. Like. We're getting, we're getting old. We like plain and simple. 
and add a side dish of some kind of meat, we're good to go. So for $2.40 a bag of potatoes, they're gonna be stored in my basement where it's cool, root vegetables, they're gonna last, all right? Carrots were 99 cents a bag. The bacon was $3.99. According to my receipt, with everything that I got on sale, it was $77.38 I saved in coupons for today. Now, I'm not a couponer. I don't know how to do it. I've tried it. I am not good at it. But I still think I did pretty good. Now, here's the deal I want to break down. So if you take the sausages, okay, and you break it down into one sausage per serving, so if you're a family of one, you're looking at 66 cents for one sausage. Now I could not eat one, I'd probably eat half. But let's say you ate one, that's 66 cents for your meat portion of your meal. That's not a bad deal and if you're gonna do like bangers and mash and do your mashed potatoes and a sausage or sausage and rice or sausage and pasta and a vegetable, you're talking pennies, you know, a couple bucks for a meal, that's not a bad deal. If you can do sausage and break it into two, you're talking 33 cents for a serving for a family of one. We're a family of three, so two of these sausages is what I would use, which comes out to $1.32 for three, two sausages for a family of three. I know I'm talking fast, I'm trying to get all this in there. For 44 cents per person, family of three, for a serving for our meat. Now, with the Italian sausage, I can... I cook this up, it, cook it in the crock pot with your sauce. It's great over spaghetti. It's great over anything, but you can do a rice dish with the sausage. You could do, I love homemade hamburger helper. I've got a great recipe for that, where I use the Italian sausage. It's already seasoned. It's already flavorful. It makes a great any meal. Anytime, you know, sometimes we get a cheaper cut of meat. and uh, Use Italian sausage. I'm telling you, you could mix it with the sweet and the hot and spicy Italian sausage, which is the way I like to do it. They only had the sweet Italian sausage. There is so much flavor packed into this. You can make a really good dish out of this. So I'm talking 44 cents for the three of us each for our meat portion. Add pasta, rice, or a vegetable. We're still talking probably two bucks a person for a meal. You can't go anywhere for that. Okay, the chicken thighs. So I paid five, what did I pay? $5.97 a package, there you go. If I break that down for a family of one, if you ate one chicken thigh, it's 60 cents for your meat portion of the meal. Adding your veggies, your pasta, your potato, whatever you wanna do, okay? That's still not a bad deal. At 99 cents a pound, that was a good deal. They had a limit of two, drumsticks or thighs. Thighs to me are very flavorful. Now, if again, family of three for me, it comes to $1.20 because I would be using two chicken thighs. And you say, Lynn, come on, who's gonna eat chick two chicken thighs when it's a family of three? Well, we don't like the thigh on the plate with the stuff. You can boil these up, you can bake these up, you can cook them in the um, air fryer, you could cook them. I like to cook them in the electric frying pan. You can cook them in the crock pot. I then debone it. So I would take all the bones and all the skin and all the bits and bobs that I don't like, put that in a sandwich bag and freeze it until I have enough of it and I would do a broth with it. Use everything you have. And then the meat though, from two of the chicken thighs, I would make a chicken soup, a chicken pot pie, a chicken and gravy. I would do something on a lighter scale, like I made the tuna casserole, same thing with the white sauce and the peas add the chicken to it over bread. So I would only use two chicken thighs in that aspect to feed the family of three. But at 40 cents per serving per person for the meat, you know what? That's a good deal. Now, let me tell you about my ham, okay? I, I gotta tell you, okay? I'm so excited. I wish you all lived by me because you could all run out. So again, real quick, $41.73 for this ham. I thought I was getting it on sale at $23.82. Now there was only one ham, 
it was probably just as well because I would have been mad and I would have had to go back in the store, drive back to the store, which I will do during the week. But, okay, where's my notes? My notes, my notes. Oh, here. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay. So I looked at my receipt and it says originally spiral ham, $5.97 a pound, but now on sale for 99 cents a pound. Bottom line is this. It was $41.73. I saved. Are you sitting down? <laughs> Sit down. Put your coffee down. Because you're going to stay up and get excited with you, right? And then here are you rooting me on. I saved $35.82 on my ham, meaning I paid $5.91 for my ham. $5.91 for a boneless spiral ham. I will not have the bone to make broth with, but I have one solid piece of spiral ham meat. Do you have any clue how much, if you were a family of one or two, this could feed you weeks upon weeks upon weeks, right? Family of three. Now, whether we use it from the family comes in February or not, for $5.91 for a boneless spiral ham. I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am. I will be freezing this. And yes, I will be going back to Stop and Shop this week to see if I can get any more of these hams. I don't know if it was a one-time deal. There was no signage there at all. It just, there was one little spiral ham sitting there. And the reason I went over is two things. I watched two videos, one was Amy Marion was cooking up a boneless spiral ham with mashed potatoes and it just sounded so good. And I saw that little ham sitting in the freezer all by itself and it called out my name. So I went and I said, oh, $23, all right, I'll get it. And then I saw um, Becoming a Farm Girl. I don't know if you've ever watched her channel. I'll do a hashtag on both of their channels um, on the description. And she was talking about canning her ham and how she makes things and she buys the meat deals and freezes it until she can can and I really need to get back into canning. I really do. Save so much time and money. So I, if I don't serve this to my family, we will use this and I will be canning it. Let me tell you, for $5.91, if I go back and they have any more of those hams on sale, you better believe I'm buying what I can and freezing what I can, and then I'll be canning, cooking, doing all the things. We're gonna be so sick of ham, but for that price, with the prices of meats and the prices of produce, I got potatoes, $2.40 a bag, carrots, 99 cents a bag. Now, I have to tell you a little secret because I got some free food that was pretty cool stuff. And that was the video I was doing tonight. But then I got so excited about my ham, the free food video is going to have to wait till another night. But you come back for that free food video because I want to share a little bit on that video about how I got the free food, how you can get some free food. Is there free food to be had? What's the deal? Is there a secret to it? So I'm going to share with you what happened for me and what could happen for you. So um, come back for that. I'm so glad you joined me tonight. I'm really, it's raining outside. It's freezing cold. The rain is like the wind is, it's hitting your face. It's yucky. And I went to Stop and Shop just to get the sales and came home with a $5 ham. It was worth going out in this cold. So there you go. I'm excited. I got to run. Graham's not feeling well tonight. Yes, the weather is affecting him. So um, Robin and Carolyn, I just want to say hello, 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 hello. I responded to all of your emails, and I just wanted to give a shout out to you, my special friends, and just give you an extra special hello tonight. All right, guys, thanks for coming over. We'll catch you all on the next video. Look for that up and coming free food video, how I do it, why I do it, where I get it, how can you get involved in something like this, is it something you can do? We're going to talk. Catch you all soon.